on this video, we're going to go from ultra limited rear fender to street glide rear fender. I purchased this rear fender on eBay. The rear fender was fully complete, as you can see it is right now. The only thing I did have to purchase was the wiring harness that runs from the tri bar at the bottom that runs up the fender and comes out and connects to the wiring harness on the frame. That's the only thing I did have to purchase separately to try to make this conversion happen. What is going on guys and welcome back to another Tile on Two Wheels video. On this video, we're going to do a conversion from an Ultra Limited to a Street Glide. We're going to do just a rear fender on this uh, episode, but you know, in future episodes, we're going to do other things such as seats, quick releases for the tour pack. I'm going to hard mount the tour pack back on the bike after this, but in the future, we're going to do a quick release for the tour pack and we're going to do some other conversions to the Ultra to bring it to more of the street glide look. So stay tuned and let's get to do some wrenching. But hold on, hold on. That's the mailman. right on back and guess what we got our package and here it is here it is straight from Harley Davidson Jane one Harley Davidson Park and if you're trying to do this uh, conversion you are definitely gonna need part number six nine two zero zero one two nine and it will pop up bing, right here right now so if you're trying to do this conversion from ultra to street glide this is the wire harness you're gonna need so your uh rear brake light on your stock fender will turn into your signals and your brake when you use the bullet light such as on the fender that you saw at the beginning of the video so stay tuned let's go ahead and do some wrenching Let's get it.
all the hardware installed on the fender. So now we're gonna take, this is the wiring harness that I was telling you guys about. Part number 692-00129. If you're looking for it, it'll be popping up right now. Bing! All right, so I jacked the back of the bike up so I can get the fender up in there. So now, Oh man, guys, we got this thing installed. It is looking good, I'm telling you. Let me go ahead and get these bags on. Let's drop these bags on. Yeah, we definitely gonna update this mountain hardware as well. For this uh, saddlebags. I mean, y'all getting the first look, you know. I haven't even stepped back and looked at it yet. Y'all getting the first look right now. I mean, I'll be done looked at it by the time it's editing time and the video come out. But uh, let's take a look at it. Boy, look at that thing right there. That is what I'm talking about right there. Do you hear me? Who? that's the look I was going for right there. Man. Do you see how the back of this bike is like all finished out? Man, that is the look right there. That is the look. Who? Let me go ahead and get all these tools cleaned up. Let the bike down off the jack and um let's test these lights out oh man guys check it out that street glide conversion from ultra the street glide conversion is done Woo -wee. that thing look absolutely sweet need to do something about that seat but that's coming in the future but boy boy look at that thing Ooh-wee. And like I said, this is the Ultra to Street Glide conversion. This is the series. This is part one of the series. And uh, we definitely going to have some more going. So stay tuned to the channel for that. And um, that's pretty much all I got for y'all on this one. You already know what it is. Keep the rubber side down. Get out there and ride your bike. And we'll see you on these two videos right here. Peace.